Welcome on guys back. My name is Zenki from Digislots and today we talk about the new EXE with floor Omnimon deck. Finally, my boy Omnimon got his own deck with like a little bit of DNA fusion archetype with a huge support coming at EX04. I think the whole deck coming at zero EX04. What is pretty pretty nice? Let's look at the deck and right left hit about the thumbs up button for more awesome content and subscribe. Because we are hitting on a new milestone, I want to hit 2,000 subscribers. Let me help you, and then you get a nice um, little giveaway again. I have something pretty nice here. So subscribe for free. Let me know in the comment section down below what you're hyped for, what, which deck, what you want to see maybe as a deck profile. I look forward into it, and let's go into this nice video. I like to play Vivant's Breath for 8. Yeah, no, I don't have a mat, but I just want the mat. Like, do you know how to play on Clove mats? The specifically feeling having the mats and like a nice shape and nice coloring. Oh, true! I have like a new sponsoring! Yes, I have a sponsoring, guys, with Magic Mats. Magic Mats is a nice. New site that you can buy worldwide, worldwide shipping, cloth mats made in Europe with a nice shape. And I got something from them. A mat that I can give away to you guys from Digimon. I show you the mat. It looks pretty dope. I know. I know this mat looks pretty dope. And you guys can win. What you need to do is be a subscriber, like the video, and tell me what is your favorite Digimon. But if you want to buy your own mats with the code digitals 5 you spare 5 euro on your buy. I show you guys. We're having here the easily magic mat side. I will put the link down below. You can buy your dual cloth mat and your single cloth mat, and you have anything to ask, you can contact him and easily ask them. And they will provide new mats all the time. Thank you, Magic Mats, for doing this, for giving out the sponsoring. And I hope, guys, you have good luck and having a beautiful, nice cloth mat. Okay, we are right now at the deck list. We star for our egg come out EX04. Once per turn, when one of your other Digimon in. Um, in play the GG Wolf draw one. This deck functional, you have a rookie on board and then you up evolve the other rookie, so you have Garumon or Agumon on board, then you evolve Garumon to Garumon, you can do with the Garumon evolve the Agumon into Greymon and getting memory back and do this to fully your stack, so you need a lot of hand sized cards. And to up that you draw a little bit of the Tsunamon. The Argomon says we will be the top 3 cards of your deck, add one Digimon card with Gamon in its name and one Digimon card with Garumon, Garumon or Omnimon in its name, so you have a lot of search power in this deck, what you need to know. And as inherited, um, when one of your Digimon Digivolves gain one memory, what is pretty good, because then you need the memory again and the evil costs are a little bit reduced. Gabumon at the same, does search for Garumon, Agumon, Greymon or Omnimon, what is pretty nice, and the same, you're getting more memory back. Since we're having not much rookies, I play the Agumon from BT12 that says we're the top 4 cards of your deck at 1 card with Greymon or Omnimon's name and 1 Tamer card with Tai. We don't play Tai as a Tamer, um, but uh, we can search Greymon or Omnimon with it. What is pretty good because it's black and red as well. Then we play Garumon EXE number 4. When did you evolving, you might did you evolve one of your other Digimon to level 6 or low Digimon card with Greymon in this name in your hand for the division cost when did you evolve when this reduced the division cost by 2. So if you evolve it, you're getting a draw, get the Greymon effect and then going on. And it has reboot as inherited. Then the Greymon as well, the same effect for the Garumon. You can evolve a Garumon level 6 or lower, did you evolve cost reduced by 2, reboot as well. Then we have the Greymon here, uh, what we're playing, because the 1000 DP is pretty nice and we need more Greymon in it, so we have a higher Greymon count. Uh, we don't exactly have Garumon, what is pretty nice, or Searcher, what is pretty nice here, what's help us that is black, so you need to play this Greymon here. Then we have the Metal Greymon, it is Blocker. 
and what is pretty nice about it um it's a, it's a blocker and when you're evolving you might evolve one of your other Digimon level 6 low digit card with karuma in its name so you evolve into level 5 and reduce the cost by 2 and you have blocker and is inherited what, what i should mean as well blocker inherited and blocker as well for here and the same effect goes for the greymon you evolve your greymon up into the new op card reduced by two then now the puzzle pieces coming together you have your cre um, Ceres or grass garumon it did evolve from free from where garumon if you want to evolve it and when you're evolving activate one of the effects below choose any number of your opponent digimon whose play costs add up to six or less return the chosen um, digimon to the bottom of the owner's deck what is pretty nice you have a little bit um clean up if you want to do something you can swipe up something on board what is pretty nice and dna did you evolve this digimon and one of your other digimon in play into a card in your hand this um, hand for the cost so in the end you can did, um, you can dna did you evolve if you have both of the six on and then you can go into your omnimon you made you evolve one of your digimon play into a level six in your hand yet yeah, that's right that's really there's both effects you might did evolve one of your points digimon level six with kramer in this name if i without playing its memory cost what is pretty nice as well uh, when attacking once per turn if this digimon has only one in its name return one of your points level five or low digimon at the bottom of on the stack so you can easily get rid of both if you are in turn have a lot of memory because you need to pay the mem um, the evil cost as well it is reduced you get a little bit memory back but yeah it's a little bit hard to get it your opponent is always a three or four if you do the whole evil line thing we have here the blitz Greymon. when devolving actually one of the effects below the devolve one and dna did you evolve this digimon and one of your other digimon play into a digimon card with punishment because you may did you evolve one of your other digimon play into level six or low digimon card with garumon's name and uh, so if you evolve with blitz greymon you choose the very garumon if you evolve it into crest garumon and then crest garumon you want to dna did you evolve and then dna did you evolve that's the combo and when attacking once per turn if this demon has omnimon in its name trash the top card of your sec opponent's security stack so you're having the devolve security stack trashing and shuffle back something what is pretty nice we have two omnimons but we're only playing the omnimon alter s alter b you have all as well you can then add the devolve it you see if two uh, petify stacks so you have this both then you have your omnimon on board if when did you evolve, you need one of your opponent's Digimon with 8000 DP or less, then return one of your opponent's level 6 or higher Digimon to the bottom of its owner deck. So you delete something and put something back, not level 7, but level 6 at least. All turns, when this Digimon would leave, play exact by one of your effects. Play one Blitz Greymon and one or Kreska Rumor for this Illusion card um, without paying their memory cost, then place this card at the bottom of your security stack face down so you heal a card and then you play out these both they both don't have a on play effect sadly but you have them on board you can cross again dna did you move again into your only one what we're playing is um met ishida and tai kamiya um your tamers when you play agumon or Gabumon, by suspending this tamer you gain more memory what is pretty okay and you turn once per turn when one of your Digimon Digivolve, if you have one of your Digimon in play and Digimon has Greymon's name, you might play one Gabumon of that Digimon has Garumon in its name, you might play one Agumon from your head of trash. So you're gaining both advantages. So if you have your Agumon and your Gabumon on board and you can have another memory, then you can play it out and then go further for your combo plays. Search again and then evolve into a Greymon, then evolve into Garumon, then evolve into a Metal Greymon, then Vega room on and going on what is pretty nice about this tamer and you get a little bit memory bake and what we can play is nokia play out something else we need and reducing the costs of garumon omnimon Greymon what is okay as well if we have to have one memory because sometimes you're passing one memory or one memory too much to your opponent and can go on in your combo what is nokia helping you a lot we don't have much cards about having in our security because we are a full combined combo deck but you can cut something what we have as well is the omnimon auto b let me check if i can show you uh what is the set no, no i'm blind here it's an omnimon on the set and i'm blind um we have omnimon alto uh, alto b it did you have two from a level seven 
It names contain Omnimon. Uh, when you do well, you do both one, uh, one of your opponent's Digimon, then choose any number of your opponent's Digimon who has total play cost 6 or less and delete them. When you're taking my trash and up to 3 of your level 6 or higher cards from distribution cards, for each card trash, you one of your opponent's Digimon or Tamer with the lowest play cost. If 3 cards were trash, trash the 2 cards of your opponent's security stack. This is a really huge card if you have your full combo or potential and your Omnimon stack is alive, then you can swing easily with it and do something what is pretty cool in your next turn. Uh, maybe as a one or two of you can play it in, as you, in your deck and cut down uh, a Greymon and then play this as a one off if you want to. But you have nothing more. You have as well the Ace Blaze Shining Dragon Bolt. Uh, if you have Crest Greymon to play, you might do both one of your Argomon Greymon or into Blitz Greymon from your hand before playing its ignoring um, the Evil Requirements. If you have on the other side for Blitz Greymon, this is okay, but you need to have your stack on board and you just want to DNA the Devolve. What is not that what we want and we have nothing else as support you can play alto b if you want to as a one-off and you can cut down one of the grammar but this is the first look at this deck first list um you can tell me guys what you playing maybe you play a nice option card in your deck maybe a fist or something like that that you can interrupt with your opponent more but I think you want to combo all the time and evolve into your huge omnimon deck and then go <laughs> yeah this was a deck profile from the Omnimon deck. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about this deck. And we see us on the next deck profile. Have a nice day.